Hello everyone, my name is Sara Ghassemi. In this video, we will go over osmosis in an artificial cell or dialysis bag, and then you will perform the lab activity uh, that is called absorbing osmosis in dialysis bags. So let's start. Imagine you have three bags. The bag A is filled with 1% sucrose. Bag B is filled with 5% sucrose and bag C is filled with 10% sucrose and we immerse them in 5% sucrose solution so and important things this membrane or this uh, dialysis tube is not permeable to the sucrose which means you need to just focus on water concentration I calculated here Outside you have 5% sucrose, so the water concentration for outside is 95%. So for all three bags, you have 95% water outside. But now you need to calculate the water concentration for bag A. As you see here, it has sucrose 1%. So the water concentration for bag A is going to be 99 percent H2O so outside you have 95 percent water what do you think water enters to the bag or leaves the bag in this example so water leaves the bag so because water leaves the bag so this bag bag A will lose a weight bag B because Inside of the bag, you know, the solute is equal to the solute concentration outside of the bag. That means bag B is isotonic to outside. So, no weight change. It might have some weight change, but is not significant. How about bag C? You have 10% sucrose, so that means you have 90% water. So outside you have 95% water, so water enters to the bag. So bag C will gain weight. Now we need to answer this question. Uh, which bag is hypotonic to the outside? Because it's asking about hypotony, we need to focus on solute concentration. Which bag has the lowest concentration of the sucrose compared to the outside? This one has 1% one sucrose, this is 5% sucrose, and this is 10%. Which one is the lowest one? It's going to be bag A. On the other hand, if I ask you which bag is hypertonic to the outside solution, you need to say bag C because it has the most concentration of sucrose. After the instructor shows how to assemble three bags, A, B, and C, you will be asked to record initial and final weights of each bag after the experiment has run for one, two, and three hours. Later, I will show you how to measure the weight change and also how to calculate weight change in percentage. So, let's start. Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you the osmosis in artificial cells. These are the dialysis tubing or a membrane. Uh, we cannot use them while they are dry. I'm going to use this one for bag A. First, we need to activate them. So I'm going to immerse it into the water. So now it becomes soft. And it I'm folding one end and uh, using a dialysis clamp uh, to seal it. I'm going to fill up bag A with 10 milliliters of the sucrose 1%. 
as you see here I'm folding the opposite end and uh, using a dialysis clamp that is already labeled an A to seal it. Checking, make sure that it's not leaking. I'm going to use this one for bag B. I'm going to fill up bag B with 10 milliliters of sucrose 20%. And this is my last bag, a bag C that is filled with 1% sucrose solutions. This is the balance. First, I need to turn it on. So I will put wave boot here. So I need to set this balance to zero. Now record the initial weight of bag A that is 15.21 grams. We are going to measure the initial weight of uh, bag uh, B. So let me set this one to zero. This is the initial weight of bag B. That is 15.62 grams. Write the initial weight of bag C that is 15.37 grams. So guys, before I immerse them into different concentration of the sucrose solutions, I want you guys to pay attention to the appearance of these bags. So now I'm going to place Bag A and bag B into the sucrose one percent. The solution should cover the bags. I'm going to add 50 milliliters more to the outside solution. And this is the description for this container. What we have inside and what we have outside. At the same time, I'm going to immerse the bag C into the sucrose 20% so the bag C is filled with 1% sucrose and placed in 20% sucrose solutions and I'm going to check it after one hour so guys uh, one hour has passed and uh, I have hung them temporarily here and I want you uh, to compare the appearance of these three bags uh, before we measure their weights. Uh, can we tell which bag has gained or lost weight? So let's go and measure their weights. I will start with bag A. First, I should dry it gently with paper towel. Record the weight of bag A, 15.65 grams in your data table. Now I'm going to measure the weight of bag B. Record the weight of bag B. 17.39 grams in your data table. Now bag C, uh, the weight of bag C is 14.33 grams. Uh, make sure to record it. So now compare their appearance. This is bag C, this is bag B, and this is bag A. Now I'm going to measure their weight.
This is the weight of bag A, 15.53 grams after two hours. Make sure to record it. And this is the bag B after two hours. And the weight is 18.07 grams. Record the result. Now we are going to measure the weight of bag C after two hours. It is 13.08 grams. So record the result. So three hours have passed. Just again compare the appearance. This is bag C, this is bag B, and this is bag A. Record the result for bag A. After three hours, it is 15.51 grams. Record the result for a bag B after three hours. It is 18.30 grams. And this is the last bag, bag C. The weight is 12.34 grams after three hours. And make sure to record it. Now I will explain how to calculate the weight change for bag A after one hour. So let's use a calculator. So your final weight in gram is 15.66 minus the initial weight of the bag A, 15.21. It's going to be 0 0.45, so I will record it here. Now we need to calculate the weight change in percentage. Divide weight change in gram to initial weight of bag A, that is 15.21. Then, let me write it down here. 0 0.45 divided to the 15.21 multiplied by 100. So I have to multiply this number by 100. So weight change in percentage, you know, I rounded this number to 3%. Make sure to uh, complete all tables and Plot your graph in Excel and answer these questions. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if you are uh, still confused about concepts of the osmosis and diffusion, I recommend watching all lecture videos. The links provided in the description. Thank you.